Hi guys and welcome to another beer review and uh, for me specifically this is uh, quite a special one because this is the first time that I'm looking at a homebrew on the channel and this was sent to me by the absolutely fantastic Tony aka Tony Howard aka Big H Brewing um, I think it's Big H Brewing um, I always forget when he does his intros of his videos but anyway Tony's link is going to be down below. Fantastic guy. And the fact that he kindly sent over some of his homebrews as well as some other bits and bobs um, is just absolutely fantastic. So, Tony, if you're watching this, a massive, massive thank you. And I've not even got into the beer yet. So, the first of a few homebrew reviews that he sent me. And uh, we're starting off with his... ESB, which is of course, um, uh, let me just uh, read you the, the notes that he provided with it. So, English Special Bitter, this is one of mine, and it's a nice little beer, nice mouthfeel, not too hoppy. So, yeah, it's a fairly, I'd imagine, simple uh, English Special Bitter. And uh, yeah, brewed with Golden Promise Malt, Light Crystal Malt, and Rambling Cross Hops. Cool homemade label there with, is that a Kestrel? I think that's a Kestrel. Come on, Kes. Come on, Kes. Fantastic film. Um, yeah, I, I just love, I love the, the look of this beer. And then you've got a nice sort of copper looking crown with the uh, indent from the bottling machine. So, um, yeah, I was given this uh, a few days ago. So I think it has settled down enough. To the point where it won't be a complete gusher. Um, well, here's to hoping because I don't want to waste any of this beer. And um, yeah, I was like umming and ahhing about how I'd approach drinking someone's homebrew. But I'm just going to approach it like I would with any other review. Um, do you know what I mean? Aside from like saying, oh, I recommend you pick up this beer. Because you know, unless you get in touch with them directly or you do a trade, I don't know if you'll be able to try it. Um, so I'm just going to treat it like any normal review. I'm not going to be biased just because it was sent to me. I've never been like that. If it's not to my tastes, I'll say it as it is. Um, and if I really, really enjoy it, then you will probably already see by my reaction if I do enjoy it. So uh, there's always that like sort of like little pressure when it comes to sort of things like you've been sent, because I've been sent stuff by breweries before, so I've always had that in the back of my mind. But then you realise it doesn't do the brewery any justice. It doesn't help them out in any way if you're just blindly lying about the beer that you are trying. So I think the same applies probably a, quite a bit more when it comes to someone who's actually spent their own money, took time out of their lives. Well, you know, they enjoy doing it. But um, yeah, I, I think I think you know what I mean. I'm sort of uh, covering my tracks a little. But um, no, in all seriousness, though, I'm really excited to try this. But I will tell you straight away that the uh, the bitter isn't, and it's a gusher. Uh, the bitter isn't my favourite style of beer. It has to be said. And um, oh, it's gushing again. I only usually have this reaction with women, he says. And it just won't stop, so uh, thankfully I've got another glass from uh, a previous review. So, uh, yes. I've already messed this up. I do apologise, Tony. But, um, yeah, it's on the floor and on my leg, but I don't really care. But, uh, yeah, look at that. Yeah, I should have probably left it for a couple of more days, but oh well. Such is life, I suppose. Uh, I do apologise about that thing, but I've still got a good chunk of it to uh, enjoy and review. So, I'll start off with uh, the first glass that I used. And beer in the glass, and it's a lovely, slightly hazy, rustic copper colour. There's a few little bits and bobs floating around, nice little cloud of sedimentation. Uh, it's not completely uh, opaque, but at the same time, it's not too see-through. Just a, a nice amount of cloudiness, 
And as you can see from that head, a combination of big bubbles and smaller bubbles, and it's uh, quite foamy. Uh, about one finger's worth of uh, a brilliant white head, I'd say. But, um, and the, the bottle is oozing once again, so I might as well just uh, pour it all in. Let's see, I've still got quite a fair bit of it, so it's all good. Tony's probably absolutely cringing right now as he's watching this review. Um, and I do apologise, my friend. But thankfully, uh, with the other home brews, I'm waiting more towards Christmas to open those, so they should have settled nicely. I'm especially looking forward to that chocolate mead, as I said. But uh, there we go. So let me just quickly read what it says. Uh, anyway, my advice with them is to leave them sit in a box for three or four days. They've been in there around that time to a week to settle back down and keep them cool and keep them upright, which I've been doing. If you don't want any, the muck of the bottom of homebrew bottles in your glass, just pour gently. If it's in the bottle, I find just put it in. In your glass, just pour gently. I find homebrew is best to treat like there's always going to be a lot of yeast at the bottom, but it's about to pour. Gentle is always best with to begin with, but uh, I think I handled that quite well. He says, but uh, yeah, what a lovely looking beer. So I might as well transfer you back into here. And the glass has been rinsed. And look at that. Look at those bits and bobs floating around in there. Absolutely fantastic stuff. I do like to see that. Even though I don't know if our homebrew is if they prefer to have like a, a cloudier beer or like a, a nice clear beer but for me personally I like it when it's uh, I, I like bottle condition beers and that's what I love about homebrew well from what I've seen and my uh, understanding of it uh, but yeah look at that look at that nice little cook at that man oi, oi, oi. but uh, anyway lovely colour lovely appearance let's give it a sniff Very nice, gentle breadiness there. Dips his nose in. I've been doing that quite a lot recently. I get like a very nice, smooth, subtle, orangey sort of aroma. Quite leafy. A little bit grassy. There's like a sort of citrus in there. Yeah, really nice, pleasant, somewhat subdued smelling beer. Lovely bit of earthiness in there. Nice, gentle, sweet malt profile. What I like about this is it's just a really nice, laid back, subdued, relaxed smelling beer. No aroma is like fighting for your attention just beautifully balanced so uh tony i apologize for this train wreck so far and uh yeah thank you my friend and cheers to you and anyone else watching this mm. oh, that's nice like i said english special bitters not really my thing. But this is really nice and... I want to say like citrusy, but without the zing, if that makes sense. Like it's a lot more rounded. Lovely, gentle, subtle hop character in this. It's quite candy-like on the back end as well. But not really like overly sweet or sugary, if that makes sense. From my experience, my, from my experiences with the style, I think it's it's definitely ticking the boxes. This is just like a really nice, drinkable and tasty little beer. This is. Now, 
nice and bready. Do you know what it reminds me of? I'm, I'm not sure if I think it's in Aldi, this bread. But it's an oat and barley bread. And this is reminding me of it so, so much. Obviously because of, you know, what's in beer? Barley malt. Mm. That's what it's reminding me of. It's not too sweet, not too citrusy, not too zesty, not too yeasty. But it's a really nice biscuity, bready, with subtle fruits and subtle hop character. Just help lift it a little bit. Really nice and rounded. Lovely medium mouthfeel to it. But what I like is there's like this really nice tingly um, carbonation on the tongue. But it subsides really nicely and smooths out a fair bit. Lovely bitterness on the back end. Yeah, I like this. This is just like, just a perfect little sessioner. Do you know what I mean? If you're not looking for, for too much, and I don't mean that as a, as a negative, of course. Yeah, I like it. The thing I usually find with like bitters in general is they seem to sometimes taste like weak pale ales. But this, it's the breadiness of it all. Yeah, I want to have some like nice potato and leek soup to go along with this. Do you know what I mean? It's got that really nice comforting aspect to it. My, my palate isn't being obliterated by one specific flavour or characteristic. And yeah, it's like how do you tackle a beer like this though? Um, because I don't know, would it be fair to say something like, well, this tastes just as good, if not better, than a commercially brewed beer? Uh, I don't know, I don't know what the, uh, the sort of like rhetoric or, um, what word am I looking for? I've had a few beers tonight, so please excuse my uh, sluggishness right now. But like, what is like the best terminology to use for a homebrew? I think most importantly, if this beer were available on the shelves, although not my favourite style, I would happily pay money for this. And from seeing other people's reviews over the last couple of years that I've been aware of like the homebrew side of YouTube you know I've never really heard too many if any negative things about the beers that Tony produces and this is this is a really really nice solid English style bitter English I keep saying English style English special bitter oh yeah I really really like this one Yeah, that's a lovely beer, Tony, that. I'm going to have to look up on YouTube what other people have said about this. If any other uh, BrewTubers have reviewed it, because I'd be interested to uh, to hear their thoughts, opinions on it. There's like, I was saying it was like a but like barley and oat bread, which, by the way, if you're in the York Alasda or Aldi and you see it, definitely pick yourself up. It's like the perfect bread to excuse me to have with a nice like a warming hearty vegetable soup if that makes sense but uh yeah stick with the bread thing i'm getting like really nice subtle spicy tones in there yeah this is lovely uh if i was to give it a rating I would give this one a 7 out of 10. Um, if he'd have sent a couple of bottles of this, I'd have happily demolished the other bottle. 
just to casually enjoy it. But like I said, the style itself isn't my favourite. But I'd say that this is a really good example of the style. And if you ever find yourself getting a, a box of beers from Tony and this is included with them, you're going to have a really solid drinking experience. So yeah, 7 out of 10 for uh, Big H uh, Brewing's uh, English Special Bitter. Apologies that this video has been all over the place. Um, I don't know, like I was saying, you, I've sort of like put myself in a, a slightly different mindset with the fact that it's uh, a home brew. And I didn't want to compare it to a commercial brew. Because I think there's uh, sometimes a lot more passion that goes into home brewing. Uh, because it's more a personal thing as opposed to, oh, we'll still make money on this small batch of beer. Do you know what I mean? And uh, yeah, Tony, this is an absolutely lovely, lovely bitter. And I'm, uh, a, well, even though I'd say a fifth of it ended up on the floor, I've gone through that quite quickly, actually. And that beer's going to see me through the end of the evening. A little bit more of a lemon carriage now. Anyway, I'm going, I'm going to cut it off there because I've been talking for way too long. Tony, you can come, you, know, you can take that pillow away from your eyes um, because uh, I hope I've done the beer justice. But um, yeah, I just love the, the little bits and bobs dancing at the bottom of the glass. So yeah, that was uh, Tony Howard's. English, oh, is it English or extra special bitter? Do, 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 do. English special bitter, there we go. Fantastic stuff, and if anybody's had the uh, the chance of trying this, I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions. And of course, if any of uh, the beer tubers, uh, brew tubers who I follow have reviewed it, I'll put the reviews down below. Check out Tony Howard, fantastic guy. Uh, thank you once again, my friend, for sending over some of your homebrew. And uh, I'm very much looking forward to trying out the rest of them. And I will be doing videos of them for you guys to check out as well. And uh, a little bit of a... It's not a plug. A little bit of a cheeky way to end the video. If you have homebrew and you'd like it to get the clueless drinker, professional, on point. Uh, yeah, if you want to send homebrew, just send it. Um, I'm happy to try people's homebrew because, yeah, I feel like I've uh, destroyed the video by asking for people to send me homebrew. That's not what I meant. Uh, but um, yeah, anyway. Thank you guys for watching this almost 20 minute video of a beer that you will never be able to buy. And uh, Tony, thank you once again, my friend. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. And I shall hopefully see you next time. Cheers.